no churn lemon ice cream with raspberry swirls. It's so easy, guys, all it is is sweetened condensed milk, some whipping cream, and whatever kind of flavor you wanna put in it. So I want lemon and raspberry because they both go so well together, and you know how much I love lemon. Lemon reminds me of the Mediterranean, and some raspberry swirls make it look really pretty. To get the raspberry swirls, we're gonna to need to make a coulis, which is a fancy way of saying we're gonna make some raspberry sauce. One teaspoon of sugar, a few tablespoons of water, and then we're gonna get this heated up, and as the raspberries break up, all of that pectin that's in those berries and in the seeds is gonna to start to release and make this beautiful thick sauce. We just want these guys to mix up. You can see these guys starting to break down. You wanna help them out with a wooden spoon. Just give them a little crush crush. Now, we don't want any seeds in our raspberry swirl, so what we're gonna do is once this comes to a really beautiful thick sauce, we're gonna put it through a strainer and get all the seeds out. So this looks really nice. You can smell all that raspberry, tense smell. So what we're gonna do, turn the heat off, I'm gonna grab a strainer, and we're gonna get all of the raspberries that have been macerated, broken down. This is the easy part. All you gotta do is start pushing it through the sieve. You can see all the liquid coming out and none of the seeds. I believe we got as much as we're gonna get out of here. And while this cools, we can get the base put together. So I've got a nice big bowl here sweetened condensed milk. I always have sweetened condensed milk in my pantry. It's very helpful. I'm gonna grab some lemons. I'm gonna zest away. When you are zesting, please be careful not to get the pith. You want all the beautiful oils and the intense flavor to come just from the skin. Look at all that zest. It's not too much, I promise. And we'll get a little lemon juice in there, just about a tablespoon. That's a juicy lemon. So just give this a quick stir, get all the lemon juice and the lemon zest into the sweetened condensed milk. There we go, put that to the side, and then I'll go to the fridge to get the whipping cream. It's always easier to whip up cream the colder it is. So I've been keeping it in the fridge, ready to go, and start on slow so you don't get cream all over you, and then slowly bring it up. We're gonna look for some beautiful, nice, fluffy peaks. You can actually watch it firm up in real time. You can see it start to hold its shape. See how it's slowly falling in on itself? It's ready. That's beautiful. So now we're gonna pull our little lemon mixture up and take our fluffy whipped cream and put it into the lemon mixture, but just kind of fold it in. All right, this is all mixed together. So we're gonna get a loaf pan. This is to go on top, a little parchment paper. So we're just gonna get half in here because I really want those swirls to go all through the ice cream. Get your coolie that's cooled now, a cooled coolie. Just swirl that in there. And save a little for the top. Grab yourself a little stick. You can use a chopstick, you can use an offset. You want to see the swirls. There we go. And then put the rest in, goes right on top. And then the rest of the swirls go in. All of this is gonna thicken up in the freezer and you've got no churn ice cream. Swirl again, goes into the freezer for about four hours, ready to eat. The reveal, the big reveal. Look at how beautiful it is. It looks so luscious and creamy. So let's try it. This is the most magical thing to me. No churn ice cream. Look at that, it's so pretty. I'm gonna have so much fun experimenting with flavors. That is so great. Ice cream. So creamy. Oh, I just tasted a little chunk of lemon zest. I love that. Mmm, so good.